मैसिक प्रीमियम रोम बेस्ड ऑन एम आई वे टू वेल्व हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू क्रैक स्वेट यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द रिव्यू ऑफ मैसिक प्रीमियम रोम विच इज बेस्ड ऑन एम आई वे टू वेल्व आई विल ऑल्सो सो यू द इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस द इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस इज लिटिल डिफरेंट दैन द यूजल वन सो मेक्स यूर यू वॉच वीडियो केयरफुल्ली दिस इज मी आ टूल फर्जन एंड इज यूनिफाइड विच मीन्स यू कैन इंस्टॉल दिस रोम ऑन फोन विच हैव सेवन ट्वेंटी जी प्रोसेसर इन इट लाइक ऑन रेडमी नोट नाइन प्रो रेडमी नोट नाइन प्रो मैक्स रेडमी नोट नाइन यस एंड ऑन पोको एम टू प्रो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई विल गिव यू द रिव्यू ऑफ दिस रोम एंड देन आई विल शो यू द इंस्टॉलेशन प्रोसेस सो विदाउट फर्दर डू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So this is Redmi Note 9 Pro Max and I have already installed Magic Premium ROM in this phone. The credit goes to the respective developer who made this ROM for this phone. And this is how setting section looks like. There is also super wallpaper function in it. Later on this video I will show you how to apply super wallpapers. And this is how notification panel looks like when you first install this ROM. You can also enable MIUI 12 control center from the setting section. Later I will show you by enabling control center too. At first I will increase the text size so that you can see the fonts more clearly. For this I will go to the display setting. Then I will click on text size and font weight. From here you can increase or decrease the text size. You can also change the font weight like this. There are some system fonts available and also you can download other fonts if you want to. Now I will go back and open the settings section again. On the about device there is all spec section from where you can see the major specification of the device like the CPU information, RAM variant and many other things. You can see it's Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. It has 64 MP primary camera on its back side. It has the Android security patch level of 2028-1. It is based on Android 10. You can also see the kernel version and internal storage capacity too. Now I will go back and from here you can back up, restore and factory reset your phone if you want to. Now I will show you its stock camera. And you can see here the camera and video recording is working perfectly. You can also install Google camera if you like to. Google camera also works perfectly in this room. Below there you can see there is little indicator that is full screen indicator. You can swipe it to right or left to go from one application to another recent application like this. Now I will go to the connection and sharing. Here you can see there is private DNS FI level which does not use to FI level on MIUI ROM. And now I will go to the lock screen setting. Here at first there is always on display option FI level but that does not work. And below there you can see power menu action option FI level. If you disable this setting then you can't access to power menu when the device is locked and below that there is lock screen clock format from where you can change the lock screen layout of clock you can choose any one you like also below there is charging animation option available when you put your phone in charge it will show you different animation you can set any one you like or you can also turn it off if you want to and below there there is launch camera settings If you enable their settings then when you double press the volume down button while your phone is in lock screen mode then it will open its camera application now i will go to the display settings here the latest dark mode is available which works perfectly fine but for now i'm going to disable it if you scroll down below you will see status bar settings from here you can enable the latest MIUI 12 control center which gives perfect feel of MIUI 12 Also there is show on lock screen option available. If you disable it then control center won't be seen in the lock screen mode. Here there are lots of settings like show LTE, show connection speed and many more. You can also change the battery icon style. And the feature I use most is battery indicator. I like to see the battery percentage next to the battery icon. And below it there is hide notch option available which works perfectly. You can try if you want to. I will go back to the sound and vibration settings. Here there is haptic feedback option available and other features like profile video for incoming calls. You can set profile video if you like to. Now I will go back to the home screen settings. From here you can do customization on home screen layout. Um like if you enable this hide app title then all the title of the application will be gone. But I don't like to hide the app title so I will disable this feature. Now I will go back to the additional settings. 
Here there are lots of feature, but the interesting feature of MIUI 12 floating window option is here. It will teach you how to use floating windows feature. This is very useful feature from which you can use two applications at once. So these are some basic settings available in this Magic Premium ROM. Now I will show you how to apply super wallpapers. For this just long press on home screen. And then click on wallpapers. Then click on super wallpapers. From here you can choose which one you want to apply. And then click on apply button. In this way you can use and apply super wallpapers. I forgot to show you the password and security option. There is fingerprint and face unlock option available which works perfectly fine. Although it's not official ROM but you can use this ROM as daily driver if you want to fill the MIUI 12 on your phone. The battery backup is also decent. Now I will show you the installation process. The installation process depends upon which device you are using. As I've already told you this is Mia tool version and you can install it on Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, Redmi Note 9 Yes and Poco M2 Pro. For Redmi Note 9 Pro you just have to flash ROM file and Fender file. And if your device is not Redmi Note 9 Pro then you need to flash ROM file, Fender file, firmware file, permissible file and DM variety zip file. And my device is Redmi Note 9 Pro Max. And now it's based on official MIUI 11 as you can see here on the screen. I've already downloaded all the necessary files on my phone. All the download links will be in the description section below. Now reboot your phone to the recovery mode and you must have installed custom recovery on your phone. If you don't know how to install custom recovery, then check my video to install custom recovery from the description section. So now it's rebooted to the recovery mode. This is TWRP custom recovery. First of all, draw the pattern of your lock screen to decrypt the data. Then here at first, click on this wipe button. Then click on advanced wipe. Here select Delphic, data and cat and swipe to the right. And now it's completed. Then go back and click on mount. And on mount, make sure only these options are selected. Then go back again and click on install button and select the ROM file that you have downloaded. I have all the necessary files on my SD card. This is the Magic ROM zip file. Just click on it and swipe to the right. Now the flashing process has started. It will take some time so I will skip this flashing process. Now the flashing process has been completed. You will see vendor error just ignore it and go back. And click on install button again. Now select the vendor file and swipe to the right to start flashing. Now the vendor is also flashed. Now go back again and select firmware file and swipe right to flash it. It will take some time to flash the firmware file so you have to wait. Now the firmware is also flashed. Now again go back and now select disable DM variety zip file and swipe right to confirm flash and the flashing process will take some little bit of time so we have to wait now it's done now go back and select the permissiver file and swipe right to confirm flash and it will also take some little bit of time to flash now it's flashed now go back and click on wipe button then click on format data here simply type yes yes and click on that tick mark and it will format your phone then click on that reboot system then your phone will reboot to the system and then Magic Premium ROM will be installed on your phone so in this way we can install Magic Premium ROM on Redmi Note 9 Pro Redmi Note 9 Pro Max Redmi Note 9 Yes and on Poco M2 Pro so I hope you like this video and if you do then hit that like button comment below if you have any kind of problem confusion queries or anything and share this video as much as you can and don't forget to subscribe to our crack suede youtube channel and hit that notification bell too so thank you for watching this video and see you in my next video until then goodbye take care